is working on her, her research and presenting speech level one. And her speech is entitled Money Talks. Carol has been with Toastmasters for almost two and a half years. And during this time of reflection, Carol started to focus on her finances. She has investigated this topic and let us now hear from her presentation on Money Talks. Please welcome Carol Ashton. And Carol, don't forget to unmute. Money talks, show me the money. However you say it, we're talking about money. Sometimes money is boring. A budget is talking about where your money is going instead of wondering where did it go? We've all been there. Have you ever gone to the bank or looked in the wallet when you want to pay for something and it's empty? Where did it go? I wanted to tell everybody about a budget. I'm learning during these times that we have to really focus about three things about a budget. What you're spending it on, creating that budget, and suggestions on how it can work. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, money talks. We're gonna begin before you can financially get to where you want to go. You have to learn about what you're doing. Tracking your expenses will help you achieve your financial goals. Write it out. Take every piece of paper that you have for one month and track everything. Track your bills, track your loans, track your goals, track where you're spending everything. Color code it if you want to. It makes it easier that way, but write it down. We want to find out where you are financially. What you have in the bank minus the debt is worth your net worth. Where are you? If you aim at nothing, you'll hit it every time. What is your goal? Financial freedom? Do you want to save up for that travel trip or to buy a car? What are you aiming for? We need to figure that out. And that is what a budget is all about. And that's going to help me during these times to help figure out what a budget is all about. So we have our goals. We've taken our receipts and written everything out. Now what? What do we do next? Dave Ramsey talks about the 50, 30, 20 rule. 50% is our needs. That's basic living. That's electricity, car payments, what you need to basically just bare minimum. 30% is our wants, and we all know what those are. And 20% is your loan repayment, your debt repayment, and also starting to work towards savings. At least $1,000 for that emergency fund. And I'm not talking about just in case we don't feel like baking or cooking, that kind of emergency fund. I'm talking about if something breaks down. Now, taking that rule, let's find out about a budget. First thing we're going to talk about is our income. What we want to do is we want to take this and we want to write everything that's coming into our household. Your paycheck, your GST, the pension, the CERB, child tax, whatever it is. And then take your expenses. That's your 50% of your needs, your fixed income. And what we want to do is write everything down. And what's your basic groceries for the month? 
that is 50% of your needs. Next is we want to talk about your variable income. And those are all the things that aren't necessary, but you really like to have. Like maybe a new haircut, maybe going to the gym, maybe traveling or watching movies or Netflix or even fast food when you don't feel like cooking. Those are the variables. And then we want to talk about our savings. First, debt repayment, our 20%. And then once we get that done, let's talk about debt savings and investments. And I'm sure you can spot that spelling mistake because it's there. I want to make sure everybody was paying attention. After we've done that, we want to take everything and tally it. We want to tally each item, bringing it down. And the only thing that's flexible is our variable expenses. We want to aim for zero. Zany eventually regains order. Aim for that zero outcome. So how do you spend? Our grandparents' method was putting the money in an envelope. Gail Van Oxlade said, put the money in a jar. It's a visual cue on how much money we are actually spending. But I don't know, after talking to Cheryl, I'm gonna try a new method by using the fun script cards. First, I'm gonna put some money on what we need, our groceries, and then our gas. And now we get to do our wants. What do we want? More tools, hair, movies, sports, books, fishing, and we can't forget about shopping. That is the fun script. This is something I'm gonna to try to make sure it works because my goal is to take Alan back to Germany for our 25th anniversary. Money, 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 money. Let's talk about money and let's take control of that money. What we wanna do is stop that accidental spending. We wanna first find out what we're doing, second, create a budget, and third, find methods to help do it. Whether it's putting the money in envelopes or in jars or using the cards, beware of the little expenses, a small leak will gain, will sink a big boat. Take control of your money because money talks. Back to you, Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you, Carol. Very well done. Uh, 